Okay, today I want to talk about using the drag and drop question in Lectora to reveal information and kind of taking the place of uh, a typical and sometimes boring click to reveal interaction uh, in an e learning course. Um, so, by using the Lectora question, the drag and drop function, um, you can just approach that a little differently and, and give your learners. Um, a more interactive way to to receive information um, and so you're using the drag and drop question which you can create in the under the test and survey tab uh, under question it's just drag and drop there I've obviously got everything built out and ready to go already so I'm not going to create a new one uh, but I just want to show you what I've done and kind of explain the the approach uh, that I've taken here which will hopefully be helpful to you. So what I did was create actually six different drag and drop questions and each question has uh, a unique image and a unique uh, dragger. So an image to drop it and an image to uh, drag. And if I hide these other questions you'll see the unique question image. Uh, so as you can see, this is just a, a transparent PNG with this sixth puzzle piece there, and the dragging image is uh, basically the same thing but a different color. Um, and the reason I did that, I'll show you here in a second when I uh, view this in a browser, but essentially I wanted each question to have its own unique image so that when they complete the question or drag the piece in the appropriate place, um, it will essentially complete the puzzle. And so I have underneath the completed image here. Um, so that will begin to appear as they complete each uh, drag and drop question. So the important pieces to the way this function uh, are within the, the properties of the question. And so if you go properties you can edit the question and kind of piece it together how you would like to this is where you load the drop image and also the dragging image so again I've already done this but if you look in the feedback you want to enable feedback and the cool thing that Lectora can do with each question is upon getting the question correct you can basically run any action uh, and the same with incorrect. Once they drop it in the correct location, it runs an action group, which is called, I've named correct one. Uh, but if they get it incorrect, then it just resets the question and makes the puzzle piece go back to where it originally was. The correct action group, and this is essentially the same for each one, I modify a variable, and that's just more for tracking purposes. Uh, because at the end of the question I want um, some closing content appear uh, when they complete the puzzle. So that's why I have them uh, have it modifying a variable there. Um, and then I hide the question and then run hide all, which is another action group. And the reason I have that is it hides all of the content that appears in this area. And as you can see, I've got all the different contents for each question. So as they get it correct, it's going to hide all that content and then show the content I want it to, which is content one. And then, like I said before, or mentioned before, uh, I want it to show the completion content, and then I have this as a variable if all of them have been answered correctly. So that is essentially what's within this correct action group. So I'm going to run this in a browser and just give you an idea of how it works. You've got your introduction content and then again instead of just clicking a button and revealing more information it just adds a little bit more uh, interactivity I think. Uh, for the learner to drag a puzzle piece and put it in the, the puzzle and try to complete it. 
So as you can see, it hid the question, and now you see part of that background image I have set there. Now if I put it in the wrong spot, again it just resets it. And again, you can customize this to have as many pieces as you want. Uh, I've just got six here. But once they're all completed, then it shows this completion content. So that's kind of the idea uh, behind this interaction that I've built here. And again, it's just a way to think outside the box and use the tools that Lectora has for you um, in maybe an unconventional way or maybe even a way that they weren't originally intended for uh, because obviously this is a question but I'm not actually testing the user uh, I'm providing them with more information so hopefully this has been helpful uh, feel free to leave me any questions or comments if you want to know more details about how this is set up I'll sign off this is brother Danny at eLearning Brothers <laughs>